So at some point, this is just getting embarrassing. I have all this gear and every time I haul it around, not only am I just exhausted, but I start thinking to myself, is this really necessary? In the back of my head, I don't know if you feel this way. I just wonder, would just taking all of this and really defining what has to go in my bag actually make that experience the experience I need it to be? Another honesty check here. I think at some point marketing has convinced me that I need all this gear. So this was packed not only for my bare minimum setup, but still throwing in items I'm going to be testing in the field. So I have the necessities and then just the trial items. This really isn't that much. So this is the original trailer we're basing the design off of. So we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger to make it fit. I'm building this trailer around the size of my essential gear with the intention that future me can never take out more than I actually need on a camping trip. And how I'm doing this is just placing a physical limitation on myself. I don't know if I have the discipline to stop the gear creep so my trailer is going to be designed to do that for me. With this bike, my intention was to recycle as many items as I could, build it as locally as I could. And so one of my favorite resources is right here in town. And it's this little bike shop that sells only Japanese bikes. And these Japanese bikes are special because they come all the way over from Okinawa. These are bikes that people discarded and we're able to bring that back and give it a second chance. And so that's what I'm doing here with the rims for this trailer. I'm testing out a few sizes. The ones that aren't going to fit this trailer, I'll probably use on a future build of a bamboo trailer that I'm working on. So after we built the trailer, it was time to test it out. And I knew the best way to do that would be to just integrate it into my daily life. So the first test obviously was grabbing groceries, heading down to the wet market. But the big test I had was, will it support the weight of my boys? So not only did it support their weight, it supported it for six straight months. I took these guys to and from school for six months. They loved it. Uh, East is now starting to ride his own bike, but rides in there every single day. The other thing I do, which is probably the best stress test for this, is I'm hauling water. As you can see here, the water that comes out of my faucet is practically brown. And so I'm hauling water every two to three days. And with that imbalance of the water moving around, that really stressed that trailer to the level that I could trust it.
So if the video looks different today, you know, better, maybe a little shaky, mm -hmm. I have a new cameraman. Okay, who's that? <laughs> Who is it? Me! Oh, you're the new cameraman? Yeah! I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Right here. It's not working. I don't know how to get out. You don't know how to get out? Yes. Oh. Come on out. Try the seat. Yeah. yeah, they go back to their homeland and they all were born in the zoos, so they don't even know how to live real. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> what do you think? I feel really blessed to be able to share this opportunity with you in that I felt closer to the ground, I felt closer to nature, I felt closer to east, like the bonding we had out there, it was just quieter and more simple. And there was something really special about doing that all while hauling the gear with a bike. And I think it all started when I set the tone with that bike trailer. So if you are into these type of videos, I'm going to continue to go out and do the style of camping with the boys. In terms of will it show up on the YouTube channel, that's really up to you. If this is something you like and you enjoy, let me know. I'll obviously continue to do the small camper trailer videos and all the outdoor videos you come to expect from playing with sticks. But if you haven't got out lately into this big, beautiful world and had an experience like this, I highly suggest you get out there. It really is impactful on everything I do. It just makes me wanna get out there again tomorrow. 
So for those of you currently on the road, stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next episode.